All right, so we are gonna head in now to 13 through 16, the final set of four puzzles here in this first part of the DLC. And it's been, frankly, fantastic so far. Make sure we're looking out for a Prometheus. Oh, calm down, Mr. Pillar. Let's see what we have here. Ah, okay. Pretty sad little email. Um, so this is 14. So this starts with 13, right? Yeah. Kind of like weirdly positioned. Where are you hiding? Prometheus Spark. A little bit of parkour action. Uh, there's more invisible. Oh. Not today. Let's do this one. Number 13, puzzle number 13, extension. Oh boy. Okay, where's our end goal? What in the world? That blocks that off, okay. Here? Okay, this is the end. We need red and blue powered. Jesus. Okay. Well, first of all, what does this do? This blocks that off, but also reveals that. So first of all, let's grab these two connectors. cannot be connected in any way through there or here. So the only means of accessing the connectors that are unmovable is via this. Where's the red coming from? Okay, so the red's coming from over there. So what we want to do, does this work like this? Oh, yes, I see. So we, we essentially want to make the blue chain longer so it's weaker and the red can push through. So we can place this down to open up the blue gate over there. and then use these connections to make the chain longer and then override the red just like that yep makes sense makes perfect sense to me perfect <laughs> cool puzzle I came to realize, as I grew older, is there are so many ways to hurt other people. Even without any malice, even when you're just trying to be yourself, 
you end up doing things that cause real harm. You can read every ethical philosopher in the world and you still won't be able to avoid it. Because that's just how we are. Our interactions with each other can't be fully reduced to some abstract system. Hmm. Okay. Are you hiding a spark from me? Oh, cliffside. It appears not. Alright. Puzzle number 14. Data stream. I'm almost afraid to flip this lever. There's four <laughs> connectors here. What do we got? Oh, good lord. Okay. I mean, this is very similar to what we had before. So let's just start with a baseline. Yep, that works out. This, I think, would need to be closer. Oops. These will meet in the middle there. Okay, so we're only missing one piece. And that's the blue there. So we want to make the blue one stronger. So this makes it stronger, right? Yes. And now we're missing the red here. Is it? Ah, so... This surely doesn't do it. Okay, well it definitely doesn't do it when you connect it to the wrong thing. Okay, so that made the red one weaker. We also need to make the blue one weaker though. Which we can't do. Presently. As, or we need to make the blue one stronger. Oh, like moving it a full stage up, is that? That does do it, yeah. That is what I expected to happen. But then since this is the perfect balance, it doesn't work and we can't move this any further. Let's try reversing this idea. So now these are both fighting at this one spot. So if we move so if we move this over one, it should override both of those. Perfect. Yep. Makes sense. Cool. I like these puzzles. These are interesting ones. Perfection in our interactions is impossible was a hard lesson for me to learn For the longest time. I always thought the answer was right around the corner And to be fair, we did learn how to live together without constantly running into problems But gradually I realized that the friction would never stop Because what makes us unique also makes us different Duh. There can be no end point to love no final resolution and it's because of that imperfection that it can go on forever. Okay, puzzle number 15, flow control. Oh boy. What in the fuck? Oh my lord, there's six cubes, six hexahedrons here. What in the actual hell is this this needs a screenshot for sure 
it's kind of beautifully symmetric in a way from this perspective. Okay, so we must place cubes in strategic locations. Ah, this is mm, mm, this is crazy. So I think we clearly need this to happen. Oh, there's little spots for the cubes that like auto magnetizes to. So that allows for that, but then this needs to be blocked. And now these are on the wrong sides of each other. So. Block this to allow green. Oh, but that also blocks the green. Yes. So that prevents red and allows green to come all the way across. And if we did this, then that would prevent that same green from arriving in the expected location. Like if we did, if we did this, well, actually wouldn't prevent the green from arriving. I have a feeling that the blues using four cubes is too much. I don't see that being correct. Yeah, that doesn't need to be there actually at all because this can these can connect to the same thing and it'll still work. Yeah, stopping the green here would let the red through, but stops the green, obviously. So what happens then if we move this down one, just shift the, the responsibility further? Then we can have red coming in from right there. So yeah, this will pr will allow the green to continue going across the top, but red will come across the middle. Ah, but red is still stopping the green. So we want to stop the red from going up there. Like that. And then stop the green from coming into the red right here. Boom! <laughs> wow, what a tangled web. That was cool. Take a screenshot of the finished one. Very nice. One more to go. There's a pattern that I noticed in all the ancient poetry that I read. Young poets would praise love as the only true meaning of life. Middle-aged poets would often disagree. They would argue that love is messy, ugly, selfish, and hard to distinguish from lust. They would mock their younger selves for thinking love so incredibly important and look for answers elsewhere or reject answers altogether. And then, arriving at old age, they would return to the beginning and realize it was all about love after all. Gotta be able to get up there, I feel like. There's a QR code. You can't fool me. Aha! Oh. Please hold. There it is. What do you say, almighty Q? I'm going to be a spark back here. I have been cheated and lied to. No! <laughs> Damn it. I was going to say, but at least I can live to tell the tale, but I tried to stay on the cliff too long and paid the ultimate price. Hmm. Where is the spark? Or am I misled in thinking there's one in each area? There's just simply not a lot of spots to hide such a thing. 
Well, let's head into the last puzzle anyway and see what's going on in here. Puzzle number 16, Propagation Cancellation. Oh God. Okay, we have two lowly connectors with which to untangle this web. Okay. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So, we don't want blue. Propagation cancellation. So like something like this would cancel the blue. We don't want to cancel it that hard. Oops. This would cancel the blue from going all the way down, but not too far. Uh, so obviously you can't just do this and be done with either side because you still have the blue that needs to get in. So I can somehow cancel the red from here. What happens if I do that? Cancels That does cancel the red. And then you just do this. Ah, oh, thought that might actually work. So what is actually happening in that instance? Ah, since, since I'm connecting the, oh wait. I'm trying to cancel the green. Oh, it's because, um, so what if I just connected here? I think this will work. And it does, yes, because the red stops the green because they are the same distance away from each of their sources. So you see the green goes one, two, three. And the red goes one, two, three, but the blue, well, oh, the blue's not, the blue's not caring about that. We were just wanting to stop the green and then the blue comes unimpeded through to here. Yeah, so the red and the green meet here and stop each other, allowing the blue to pass through. That one was cool as well. I really like the puzzles in this, uh, in this first part of the DLC pack. Achievement, only connect, love has a recover context, 16 fragments. And the happiness of those who surround us can lift us up, just like their unhappiness can drag us down. As we improved New Jerusalem, things got better between us in subtle ways that affected every interaction. Our flaws never went away, but as the world around us became more forgiving, we became more capable of forgiving each other. That's why I was excited about New Alexandria. We're almost there. Just one more file. This one may be harder to extract than the others. <laughs> okay, Cornelius. I'm just going to end up dying here. But um, yes, yeah, Sarabai died at New Alexandria. That's what happened. Where is the Prometheus spark? I'm not totally convinced that one exists here since it is so closed off. But it just seems like it would be in keeping with how things worked in the base game for there to be like one in each area. In the base game, each area had two Prometheus sparks to find. Well, it is possible I'm incorrect in my assumption. Uh, 
I wish they told you how many there were. I had a similar issue with the artifacts in the base game that you could find around, like the human artifacts. Because they didn't tell you how many were in each area, so I, I mean, and they were usually hard to find. So I, I kind of didn't search explicitly for them. Because I didn't know if I was even searching for one that existed or not. Yeah, I may just continue on here, actually. And then I'll come back later, like as, as a wrap-up video. As I did in the base game where I was searching for the remaining sparks at the end. Okay, so we have an elevator active now to the... Let's see, is this thing still... Cannot access. And then what about the golden gate? Does that mean it's open or closed? I think we need to solve that to get in. Let's go up here and see what we've got. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is Heart of Anubis. Cool. This is clearly disabled. And we have two lowly connected ones. How much does it cost to skip this? Three. Interesting. Maybe you need maybe there only are three. Okay, so what the heck is the goal? Oh my god. What is what is this? That's nothing. So what happens if we well it looks like we'd want red on there, maybe. So what if I do this? Ah. Okay, so those are just large versions, because you can see if you look. Okay. So like, that did both of those. And how many of these are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Makes sense. So then if I did green source to here, those would be done as well. Uh, but unfortunately we're missing the connection to allow for the blue be just as simple. So if we cut off the green there, but these we can't touch. These are like hidden. There's ones with like caps on them. Like this, I could I can't connect directly to the endpoints either. So where's a where's the green source point? So green source point. So if I took red and I did this and this. And this, it did do what I thought it would do, <laughs> thankfully. It cut off the blue, or the green, and let the blue come up from underneath. Right? But now red is taken, has taken over those locations, so maybe we want, we want green to cut those off. Oh no, there's a third blue receiver spot. Yeah, so that's... I think we need the blues to flow in naturally. This is just guessing, honestly, though. So we take the green. And we want to cut off reds from the source side. 
that did work. So that did what I wanted. And then we just add the red and the green connections to their necessary local points. Boom! <laughs> Let's go! I actually figured that one out a lot quicker than I thought I would. So you're ba I ba you basically just have to stop the green from its emi emitter point where it would be blocking the blue from getting to it and then do the same thing with the red emitter points and then just connect them to their respective nexuses to get to their spots. And there we have it. Awesome. <laughs> that was a really cool puzzle though, I liked that. And now we are um, up. Whoa. Sick. Up above. Do I just grab this or holy smokes? Whoa. Give me give me the chills there. Alright, we will grab the final fragment. When Achievement fully reconstruct survive. I knew it was the end. My end. The power plant was gone. The backup center was collapsing. The street was cracking open. And the fireball was about to engulf me. In that millisecond, I shut down every process except my mind. I turned off my audiovisual input. I rerouted all of my power, pushed my processor to the breaking point. Time slowed down. I didn't think about regret. I didn't think about death. I spent every last moment I could scrape together thinking about you. Damn. Okay. You did it. Come yes. to the extraction point and I'll pull you out. Okay. This is odd. We have Sarabai's complete memory archive, but there's still some file fragments left in the system. The gold well, you puzzle. Can look for them if you want to, 1K. I know you're always curious, but what matters is that we've got Sarabai. Oh, you can like walk out on here. Oh, this is so cool. Recover the mysterious file, zero out of three. Wait, am I stuck myself? Am I stuck? Jump! Perfect. I, I honestly forgot. I honestly forgot about the golden gate already. But we're going to go in there and do that in the next video. All right.